One day, a young man named Thomas woke up and found himself suddenly in an elevator. Once this elevator reached its destination, Thomas was released from it by a group of young people he did not know. Feeling threatened, Thomas finally tried to escape until he finally fell and was arrested. Not long ago, Albie, who was the leader of the youth group, finally freed Thomas. At this moment, Thomas admits that he doesn't remember his life before being in that place, and it turns out that the same thing is experienced by all members of the group. Afterwards, Albie told Thomas about his group's life in their residential area called Glade. Albie's group worked together in building houses and plantations for food sources so they could survive in Glade. While the elevator turned out to function, to send equipment and newcomers every month, and that month it turned out that the newcomer was Thomas. Albie also told about the three rules he made to create peace. The three rules are helping each other group members, working according to the assigned tasks, and most importantly group members are prohibited from entering the area behind the giant wall that surrounds the glade. Afterward, Thomas became surprised why there were several group members who returned to the glade from the area behind the wall, even though there was a ban on entering the area before. Due to information from a member named Chuck, Thomas finally learned that behind the walls of the glade there is a maze, which can only be entered by those who become runners. In the evening, the co-leader of the group named Newt explained many things to Thomas. About runners and mazes. It turns out that runners are strong and fast members of the group so their job is to run around the maze to map the area because runners have the main mission to find a way out of the glade. Thomas just realized that he and Albie's group were actually trapped in the glade. Newt also told him that the wall dividing the glade and the maze would automatically open in the morning and close at night. Strangely, this maze always changes shape every night, and the danger is that there is a deadly monster named Griva roaming the maze. This is why the maze can only be entered by the runner. The next day, Thomas carried out his task to collect fertilizer materials found in the Glade Forest area. Arriving there, Thomas was suddenly attacked by a runner named Bane. After successfully knocking out Bane, Albie's group learned that Bane had been infected with poison, which came from a Griver sting. Thomas then gets information that this infection causes its victims to become aggressive and speak incoherently. Albie was finally forced to throw Bane into the maze so that he would not endanger his group. The next morning, Albie and the runner team went into the maze to look for traces of Bane. Because Albie and his team had not returned for hours, the group began to worry about their condition. Because of his very high curiosity, Thomas, who was now a member of the group, finally dared to enter the maze even though he was not a runner. When he was just in there, Thomas accidentally found Miho carrying Albie, who was unconscious at the time. It turns out that earlier, Miho had hit Albie until he fainted because the group leader had been infected with the Griver sting poison. In the midst of their efforts to secure Albie, Thomas and Miho heard the sound of a Griver in the distance. Miho was finally forced to flee first for his safety, while Thomas only escaped after he managed to secure Albie. Not long after, the griever finally found Thomas and immediately hunted him down. Thomas ran as fast as he could while looking for ways to survive the griever's attack. In the midst of his struggle, Thomas accidentally met Miho again. Seeing the walls of the maze about to close, 
Thomas finally tried to take advantage of this situation to trap the Griver until he managed to kill him. From there, Thomas and Miho managed to return to the Glade while carrying Albi. Unfortunately, Thomas's actions in the maze drew pros and cons. The reason is that Thomas broke the rule that prohibits non-runner members from entering the maze. But on the other hand, Albi was saved because of Thomas's desperate action. Moreover, Thomas became the first person in the group who managed to kill a Griver. Offsetting this situation, Newt as co-leader of the group finally gave a light punishment to Thomas so that the same problem would not be repeated. Newt finally allowed Thomas to become a runner. After the commotion ended, Albie's group received a newcomer from the elevator, who for the first time was a woman. Once the woman named Teresa came to, she immediately mentioned Thomas's name as if they had been friends before being in the Glade. Albie's group finally took Teresa to the medical treatment room because after that she fainted again. Moments later, Thomas and the runner team led by Miho entered the maze to examine the body of Griver who was previously killed by Thomas. From the examination, they found an electronic tube bearing the name Wicket. Thomas then showed the tube to Newt, who was then the group leader until Albie recovered. Thomas told that the equipment sent by the elevator also included the same writing with the tube from Griver's body. Because of that, Thomas concluded that the creator of Griver was the same organization that had locked them in the Glade. Thomas also believes that this tube can be a tool to find a way out of the Glade. Afterwards, Miho invites Thomas into a secret room that can only be entered by certain members. Here Miho shows a miniature maze that he has been mapping since three years ago. Through this miniature, we finally find out that all this time the Glade has been surrounded by a maze. With his experience that has often been in and out of the maze, Miho can finally conclude that the maze consists of eight parts. Miho also confirmed that he did not find a way out of the glade while exploring the parts of the maze that he had mapped. Now since Thomas managed to kill a Griver, Miho stated that the wall of the seventh section of the maze that had been closed suddenly became open. Because of this, Miho suspected that the seventh section had a way out of the glade. Some time later, Thomas spoke with Teresa, who was able to adapt to her new life in the glade. At this moment, Thomas told her that Albie's group was now facing a worrying situation because since Teresa's arrival, the elevator had no longer sent equipment for survival or newcomers. Teresa finally shows two syringes belonging to Wicket that contain the potion she previously found in her clothes pocket. Teresa did not know what exactly the function of the potion was because just like other group members, she did not remember her life before being in the Glade. At night, Albie, who was still infected with the poison of Griver Sting, finally regained consciousness. But Alby then spoke, as if Thomas was working with Wicket, the organization suspected of being the creator of Griver, and confined Alby's group in the Glade. Seeing Alby who began to turn aggressive, Teresa finally injected him with Wicket's potion. Once Alby's condition improved, Thomas and the others just realized that this potion was an antidote to Griver's poison. The next morning, Thomas and Miho carried out their plan to investigate the seventh section of the labyrinth. Because of Miho's experience, they could finally reach their destination in a relatively fast time. Then in the middle of examining the seventh section, Thomas found that the tube from the griever's body that he was carrying suddenly made a sound, and the sound appeared more often if Thomas walked to a location related to the tube, 
By utilizing the sound of the tube, Thomas finally found a passage that had traces of Griver. Once Miho touched the passage, suddenly the tunnel entrance began to close, as well as all the walls in the maze. Not wanting to be trapped there, Thomas and Miho immediately ran as fast as possible in order to escape. After successfully passing through a journey full of obstacles, Thomas's team finally managed to return to the glade safely. Knowing this, Albie, whose condition has begun to recover, is pessimistic because according to him Wicket is unlikely to let his group out of the glade easily. And through pieces of memory that he got while still infected, Albie said, that Thomas was an important person for Wicket. Albie's remarks also made some group members begin to suspect Thomas. When Albie's group questioned Thomas's true identity, they faced an odd incident. The wall dividing the glade and the maze, which is usually automatically closed at night, suddenly remains open. As a result of this incident, a herd of griever from the maze can enter the glade. Alby managed to save Chuck, who was about to be dragged away by the Griver, but not long after, the Griver launched a surprise attack that threatened Alby's life. In his last moments, Alby advised Thomas to try to get his group out of the glade after the Griver flock left the glade. Galley called Thomas a wicket's men sent to destroy Alby's group in order to reveal the truth. Thomas finally deliberately injected himself with Griver poison so that he got a piece of memory of his old life. The next morning, Thomas was finally able to recover after being injected by Teresa with antidote. From there, Thomas began to tell about his memories so that all group members could find out who he really was. For starters, Thomas revealed that all this time Wicket locked him and Albie's group in the glade for the purposes of an experiment. And most surprisingly, Thomas and Teresa turned out to be members of Wicket who were involved in the cruel experiment. This fact finally reached the ears of Galley, who now blames Thomas for all the incidents that befell his group. After Albie was confirmed dead due to the Griver attack, his group that had been trapped in the glade for three years was now split into two camps that each had different interests. The first camp led by Galley chose to stay in the glade because they thought it was a safer place, while the second camp led by Thomas planned to go to the labyrinth to find a way out. Because he could not stop Thomas's rebellion, Galley finally let him go with his group now Thomas's group began their journey to the seventh part of the labyrinth because there was a passage that was thought to be the way out. Then when approaching the destination, Thomas tried to arouse the courage and fighting spirit of his group, considering that the hallway area was actually a Griver's nest. Thomas's group then immediately faced the herd of Griver who controlled the area. Teresa and Chuck managed to utilize the tube from the Griver's body to open the hallway door. But unfortunately, the door could only be opened if they typed in the right security code. At the same time, Thomas and the others were focused on fighting to get rid of the Griver's, who managed to kill several members of their group. While fighting, Miho helped Teresa solve the riddle of the door code. Thomas's group finally rushed to the door because now the walls of the barrier in that place began to close. Then on the way, Thomas's group entered a laboratory owned by Wicket. 
There they found many bodies of scientists who seemed to have been killed. Thomas's group also found that all this time wicket scientists were watching them from inside the laboratory. Here Ava tells that if Thomas's group watches this video, it means that they managed to pass the maze test. Ava then tells us that the world has actually been destroyed by the sun disaster. The same disaster also resulted in billions of lives being lost until finally humanity now has to face famine. Worse, the sun disaster also caused a pandemic of a deadly virus called Fleur that attacks the brains of living things. Ava then states that, until now the world has not found a cure to neutralize the Fleur virus. Because of this, Wicket finally held a survival experiment with a group of Glade residents as subjects, which the experiment actually aimed to create a cure for the Fleur virus. At the end of this video, Ava emphasizes that Wicket is a good organization before she decides to commit suicide. Not long ago, Gally suddenly appeared with a gun and forbade Thomas's group to leave the place. At this moment, they found that Gally had been infected with Grivers poison, so it was natural that he turned aggressive and did not hesitate to kill his own friends. For the sake of the safety of his group, Miho, a member of Thomas, finally managed to kill Gally. But shortly before dying, Gally turned out to have shot Chuck, who was a member and Thomas's best friend. As a result of the shot, Chuck finally died and made Thomas very devastated. While Thomas was still mourning Chuck's death, he and his group were picked up by armed troops who seemed intent on protecting them. These troops eventually removed Thomas's group from the wicket facility and took them somewhere. On the way, Thomas's group was surprised when they first saw the condition of the land, which had now turned into a desert. Meanwhile, Ava was still alive, so that meant the video was a fabrication. In front of her colleagues, Ava expresses her satisfaction because there are many Glade residents who have successfully passed the Labrin test. Now Ava is ready to start phase two, as if she will run the next experiment on Thomas's group. And the movie is finally over. So that's the whole storyline of The Maze Runner. Hopefully you understand the storyline this time, and see you in the next storyline.